Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday which means it is food shop and meal plan day. If you're new here my name's Kaylee and today I'm food shopping and meal planning for a family of four. So there's myself, my husband, my seven year old son and my five year old daughter. I was planning on doing an Aldi food shop this week, I really really was. However, Alistair's just so busy at work at the moment and he said he was going to need to go into the office and go on site Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. So I didn't think I was going to get a chance to go. Um, he's actually ended up working from home today. <laughs> so I could have gone to Aldi. But on Sunday when we weren't sure what was happening, I just did a Tesco online order which arrived yesterday. Um, I just needed to have that kind of sorted in my head and know that it would be okay and that regardless of what happened we would have food in the house. Obviously I could go in the evenings when he's home but um, usually it gets the evenings and I'm shattered and I can't be bothered so rather than getting in a bit of a rut and feeling like frustrated or um, like I don't know rather than it just being this faff in the evenings I just thought I would do another online order. Um, so that's what I did and I'll show you what I got now then I'll let you know what meals I have planned for this week. So here is my shopping for this week. I'm filming this on my phone because my camera battery, battery just died and I just really want to get this put away so um, yeah if the sound or the picture's different that's why. Um, we have got some curly kale, kiwis, passion fruits, some figs, red pepper, yellow pepper, there's a pineapple, some broccoli, some easy peelers, a mango, I've got some apples, I've got some pears, carrots, romaine lettuce, what else have I got fruit and veg wise? There's some spinach, some plums and two punnets of blueberries and then there's some baby cucumbers hiding there as well. I've got some potatoes and then I've also got some cheese savouries. I've got some Vimto, some Pesto, just the Tesco's own one. Tilda basmati rice. Alistair's quite fussy when it comes to rice and this is his favourite. I went for frosted flakes this week for cereal and then we've got some bread. There is some halloumi. I never used um, a packet mix thing I got the other week for a halloumi meal so we're going to do that this week. There's six eggs <laughs> underneath there, free range always. I've got some seeded burger buns and some medium cheddar and some cream cheese. Some flatbreads, love those ones. These are really, really tasty, these ones here. I've got some Muller Corners, vanilla and chocolate balls and banana and chocolate flakes. They're our favourite ones. Some Cadbury Fingers for Harry's packed lunches. I got this toilet roll just because it was on offer and it seemed a better deal than um, the smaller packet. So I thought I would stock up and do it that way. And then I have got my meat and frozen bits. So I've got a chicken, I'm gonna do that in the air fryer tonight. I got some pork belly slices, I got some sausages, beef mints, I got some frozen fruit that I'm gonna put in jellies for the kids' lunches because I've got a packet of jelly in the cupboard that I meant to use ages ago but didn't. I've then got some salmon, some bird's eye chicken dippers. I haven't had these in so long and there's something really nice about um, a bird's eye chicken dipper wrap. I had a fish finger butty for my tea the other day and it just made me reminisce of all the rubbish food I ate as a student and I just really fancied these and obviously they're good for the kids too. And I got a garlic baguette and I think that is everything apart from um, my grandparents. I already had these bananas but my grandparents have just been round and they bought us some tomatoes and some apples that they've grown, which was really kind of them. So my fruit bowl is now full. Okay, so I'll be honest, I was in a bit of a flap on Sunday when I did that shopping and I didn't really plan out any meals before I started chucking stuff in my basket ready for the food delivery. Um, we were out on Sunday and I just wanted to get it done before we went out so that we could relax. I knew it was sorted and it was a way off. Um, so I didn't plan before I ordered stuff, but I think I've got things for meals. I think we're going to be okay. Um, usually I would make a meal plan first, I would then look in the cupboards and then I would go and do my shopping, which is what I'm going to do next week. Next week will definitely be a shop in the cupboards with me first video. I've not done one for ages, 
my bank balance could really do with me doing one and the cupboards are starting to look pretty full so I think that's going to be the way to go but for this week we just went with a Tesco online shop that wasn't really planned or thought out very well <laughs> I don't think I've done too badly and um, there's a few things in there that I'm like there's no meal for this to go with but we will make it work we always always do so the meal plan for this week is um I've started oh just before I start I've started doing my food shop on a Monday because usually that's the day I'd have the car um so I'm still showing you these on Tuesdays I'm actually filming this bit right now on Tuesday so we've already had one of the meals but it just kind of gives me a little bit more flexibility and I'm really enjoying doing it this way um I just think it fits in with life better so yesterday we had our first meal off this week's meal plan and it was roast chicken broccoli carrots roast potatoes and gravy um yes I did a roast dinner on a Monday the air fryer has just been a complete game changer to us we have this one right here it is a kasori and it's a 5.5 litre one I believe so you can fit a full medium sized chicken in there and it cooks beautifully within about 45 minutes it's amazing absolutely brilliant the skin goes crispy the meat is just gorgeous and tender it's a game changer it really really is and then whilst your chicken's resting you just put your roast potatoes in there for like 25 minutes stick some veg on it's just so low effort that it has become a midweek meal for us and i am loving that so that was what we had last night that went down really really well um i just used bisto gravy because midweek who can be bothered making their own gravy but other than that i think that's a pretty decent monday night meal um so my next meal that i've got is homemade burgers and salad i've bought some minced beef i've bought some burger buns we have salad and things like that um i could make homemade chips but i think i need the potatoes later on in the week so we'll see about that but that will be just a nice easy um tasty fun meal that i know the kids will like um i think we're gonna have that one tonight um my next meal will probably have like way on in the week because the meat is in the freezer it's actually a meal from my meal plan last week and it is tacos because we ended up going out for dinner on sunday it wasn't planned um i don't think we knew we were going out until friday saturday so i'd planned a meal that we didn't end up having um, and that was tacos so we just put the beef mince in the freezer the taco kit is in the cupboard and we can roll that out maybe at the weekend because the kids love tacos um, tacos fajitas anything like that especially when you put it all in the middle on a plate and they serve themselves and make their own they love that um, the next meal I've got is pork belly mashed carrots and peas um, Alistair really likes pork belly so do I um, I have got sausages um, just in case the kids aren't really that fussed on the pork belly but they will like the mashed carrots and peas so they could potentially have sausages instead of the pork belly but we're still kind of having the same meal if that makes sense um the next meal i've got is salmon and broccoli pasta with garlic bread yes it is carbs on carbs but i'm here for that i, I love my carbs <laughs> um so that's just a really quick and easy one you just use philadelphia we use some chili flakes and some garlic um you flake the salmon through the pasta so a little bit of salmon goes a long way because it's all flaked up and the flavor is quite strong so it carries carries you know what i mean um so that's a nice easy one and i've got garlic bread to go with that too because who doesn't love garlic bread um my next one so last week for my tea one night i can't remember which night it was i think it was thursday alistair was going to be home late the kids had eaten at my mum's and i just really fancied a fish finger sandwich so i had a fish finger sandwich for tea and it was just everything i could have dreamed of and more i had mushy peas and tartar sauce and honestly i am so easy to please i love meals like that so my next meal is chicken dipper wraps and salad <laughs> don't judge me do not judge me um yeah i'm going back to my student kind of meals that i used to cook but there's just something about those quick and easy comfort food meals especially when you've been working that they're just really nice um the last meal that i've got is chicken fried rice we have got a little bit of chicken left over from the roast that i did last night it was only a medium chicken um sorry my hair's really bugging me because it's still damp <laughs> it was only a medium chicken so there's not loads 
but if we do like egg fried rice we put some chicken in we've got some cashew nuts in the cupboard we've got peas we've got carrots we can put loads of veggies in and actually we really love just a bowl of um like chicken fried rice or egg fried rice or something like that so that is my last meal now there is no flexi day but meals like the chicken dipper wraps they're in the freezer the chicken dippers so they'll be absolutely fine if we need to roll those over for whatever reason and again the chicken fried rice it all depended on how much chicken we had left which we do have enough but um that could have been a flexi meal as well i just decided to plan like a full proper week this week and that's it harry's on his first school trip school trip with the junior school today um they've gone to the airport so he's gone with his little pat lunch in his brown paper bag because you know you don't want to send them with a proper lunch box because it's just an extra thing to carry isn't it um he's been a bit fussy with pat lunches we've started trying to send hot things more often so he's had pasta he's had um what did he have chicken dippers put you like heat up the canister your little hot food lunchbox canister thing um first by putting boiling water in it wipe it out so it's dry put a paper towel in the bottom and then put your chicken dippers or your chicken nuggets on top and they i wouldn't say they were like as crispy as when you first cooked them but they did still have some crunch rather than being all soggy so i'd say that was a win they were still warm by lunchtime warm by lunchtime um that was a tip that i saw on my fussy eater i think so definitely worth a go and we'll definitely try that again um other than that he's been really into egg mayo sandwiches so he can have some of those he likes tuna he likes cheese i think the issue is whatever i send him for a pat lunch he's always going to want to get on and play rather than sit and eat so i think that's just going to be how it goes with pat lunches um breakfasts we've got cereal toast eggs the usual um and that's it so i hope you're having a wonderful week whatever you are doing and i will see you in my next video i think I think after I finish this I'm gonna do an air fryer snacks idea video partly because it's time to make my lunch um, and I fancy making some like courgette fries um, and maybe some tortilla chips in there but um yeah loads of people have been asking for air fryer ideas so that is what I'm going to do it might take me a couple of weeks I don't know how many ideas I'll put in it um, but I don't like when I'm making these videos I don't like to just make it for the sake of making it and have all this food that ends up getting wasted um i'd rather do it like a recipe a day so that we're actually eating it as we go um so just bear with me but it is on my radar and i am going to get started on it right now i promise <laughs> um if you've got any suggestions for the air fryer as well let me know and um yeah i'm gonna let you go now have a gorgeous day whatever you are doing and i'll see you next time